So, uh, as you know that we, we have previously explained this, so we know these issues. So, say as the Norway application. Yes, sir. Dr. Fredericks, Dr. Fredericks, if you can talk about the Norway example, Norway experience, it would be much more adequate. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, I'm, I'm expert on international economy. My branch is in the past two years, so I, I have to explain this, what the past two years to all of us, and then the solution comes from government representatives. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I will give some examples from Norway, not problem, you know. So, uh, previously, uh, your, the representatives from your uh, government, we, we taught them Dutch disease, so they know very well about Dutch disease, so you can er exactly go to the Norway exam. Yes, I'm from other countries. Minister of Finance. May I explain uh, my topic? <coughs> so, it would take too much time. Just not, not, not too much time. Okay, let's see. So you are going to explain that? Yeah. Okay, let, let's see what, what he's going to do. We have this one. So, that's uh, this. What's the term? It comes mm -hmm. from uh, Holland, the Netherlands, which in uh, 1959, uh, mm -hmm. they discovered the gas resource and then tried to... But we know all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, all of us know that. Just give us something new. I say something new. Yeah, uh, we, as you see, there are uh, three kinds of uh, symptoms of dust disease. It has no effects, especially not effect, and they have the same application. And what happened to this in Norway? I will try to explain this one. Okay, <coughs> so we know that uh, uh, resource movement effect, this is the uh, labor and capital movement from manufacturing and agriculture to uh, energy sector, to the <coughs> sector. And that happened uh, very little in Norway because, more, as we said, in the uh, 1960s, uh, they discovered new uh, resources, uh, new reserves of uh, gas, oil, and uh, with, with the United Kingdom, and tried uh, and started to you know, sell it. And boom started. Then the, the capital uh, flows to government, you know, to the state budget. And we said that. Uh, this also will uh, spending effect, uh, according to spending effect, the inflation will go up. Why? Because now trading was, we know that uh, the income, when income goes up, the people try to, you know, uh, buy more goods and services. Let's say, uh, especially non trading was, the price of non trading goods will go up. So inflation will happen. In order to, you know, uh, to keep under control, uh, the state, uh, Norwegian Parliament created in 1990s, in the beginning of the 1990s, a state oil fund in order to preserve uh, the, to prevail uh, the, let's say, inflation because much more dollars come from oil and they tried to keep it uh, under control. To do so, as I said, they uh, established the oil fund and then so, excuse me, Tamara Barzade is asking the question. He says that oil food, how the oil food is going to control inflation? Because, as you said, if all the money uh -huh. comes from uh, export, mm -hmm. if it's used by the people, this is where spent by the spend uh -huh. by uh, to the people, so the catastrophic issue for the uh, state. Inflation will go up, unemployment. So, in order to keep it, uh, they just collected this money and not to use, mainly not to give people, and just, they just invested to in foreign countries. 
Okay, uh, and Samir in the last few one more question. Thank you, Samir. Samir says that what about real exchange with appreciation? So, uh, guys, please. There was two that real exchange appreciation is the cement, uh, the overvalued. Uh, currency, national currency, national right. currency yeah. which you know uh, increases the competitiveness of uh, local goods and services, which uh, export to other countries. Uh, in Norway, in Norway, uh, this let's say uh, happened. Um, the, as I said, the uh, we have any presentation about this. This uh, real exchange appreciation? I mean, do you have any slides? No. Because it gets very, you know, uh, not clear you now. Yeah. If you could show it in the slide, it would be much more. Yes. No, not in uh, the slides. But as I said, the, this also, and uh, then the state oil company, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, tried to keep all money. And try to invest uh, other countries and keep uh, with pensions, uh, as Mr. Johansson will speak about it. How do, did they do it? How they did it? So, and, excuse me, what you did with these pension funds? You know, revenues. Pension funds. 